I was after a single lens for my Panasonic GH5 for shooting a travel or vlog style video with my family over Easter and Panasonic New Zealand kindly sent me the Panasonic Leica 12 to 16 millimeter lens to try and here are my thoughts. Hi, I'm Grant and over the Easter weekend, which has just gone here, myself and my family had a short break or a holiday up in Wellington, which is the capital city of New Zealand. Being the video guy that I am and wanting to shoot a vlog or family style video of the trip, I was after a single lens for my GH5 with the most versatile zoom range that I could find. Now I already own the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18, the 12 to 35 and the 35 to 100 f2.8 lenses for my GH5, but I didn't want to take them. I didn't want to have to carry or be concerned or look after a whole different bunch of lenses, so I wanted a single lens for shooting this travel style of video. I also find that for this style of shooting, having one lens and one camera is often the best way to go, because as soon as you have to start changing lenses or looking for the bag that has your zoom lens or your wide lens, you miss the shot and you miss the moment. So portability and ease of use is often the prerequisite or is my highest priority for this style of shooting. As I mentioned earlier, the lens I chose was the Panasonic Leica 12-60. to Now it's not a constant aperture lens, it is f2.8 which is fantastic on the wide 12mm end and it is f4 on the 60 or zoom end of the lens. In 35mm equivalent terms, that's actually a zoom range of 24 to 120 which is a fantastic zoom range for general videography when you're out and about and, and for stills as well. And also with the Panasonic GH5's teleconverter, that was at, I could double the long end of the zoom, so that was actually giving me a zoom range or an equivalent zoom range of 24 to 240, which is more than most people will ever need. So from my week with the lens, what did I think? And it was, as I expected, a fantastic zoom range when I was out and about with my family. The 24 to 120, which is it's really nice. The 24 is a nice wide, and the 120, or using the teleconverter to punch in if I want a bit of zoom, fantastic. Wellington is also renowned for being a very windy city. <laughs> I didn't want to be changing lenses and, and risking having dust or grit blowing in on my sensor when I was out and about with the camera. I shot the whole trip in my Cine D picture profile and in 1080p and I think the quality of the images through this 12 to 60 lens look fantastic. It would have been fantastic if this lens was a fixed f2.8 aperture because if I was recomposing a shot from the wide 12mm end at f2.8 and I zoomed it to the 60mm end, it's going to jump or you're going to lose a stop of light as it goes to its maximum aperture of f4 at 60mm. Not a deal breaker, but something to consider. Size wise, it's a fairly compact package as most micro four thirds lenses and cameras are, which is, a, which is a big plus for me. Build wise, it has a very nice solid feel and quality to it. It has a really nice, quite thick zoom barrel control and a thinner manual focus control. And all in all, it feels like a really well-made lens. One aspect that surprised me is the power OIS of that lens, which is its optical image stabilization, and that combined with the GH5's inbuilt image stabilization, I was hand holding the lens on its maximum zoom, the being 120 millimeters, and it was a rock steady image. As in most cases when shooting this style of video or travel or vlog style of video, you are, hand, you are often hand holding the camera. So having that image stabilization and being able to use the whole range of that zoom and still getting rock steady shots was a fantastic plus for this lens and that camera. As an aside, it would be quite interesting to compare the stabilization of this lens on the newer GH5S, which doesn't have the same in-body stabilization as the GH5. Price, now this lens ain't cheap. It's coming in at US $897.99, let's say 900 US at the time of recording this, which is the equivalent of New Zealand $1,290. So it is not a cheap piece of glass for your camera. It's pretty much the same price as my f2.8 Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 millimeter lens. Obviously you don't have the zoom ratio of the 12 to 60, but you have f2.8 constant aperture on equivalent of a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. 
Now Panasonic Lumix also make the exact same zoom range 12 to 60 lens and it is almost half the price of this Panasonic Leica lens so that's something you might need to weigh up if you're looking at the 12 to 60 Panasonic Leica or the 12 to 60 Panasonic Lumix. Now the Panasonic Lumix doesn't have as fast aperture, it's at f3.5 to f5.6. If you're tossing up between those two lenses, I've linked an article below in the description to a photographer who compares the two lenses a lot better than I could. So to sum it up, and if you break it all down, having a one lens system with the, with the zoom versatility of 24 to 120 is something I really rate and would recommend for others. Well, often people will ask me, I'm buying a camera or a DSLR style thing, and they just want to have one lens, and perhaps they're shooting travel style stills or video type thing, and that, that 24 to 120 is a fantastic and versatile zoom range. I really enjoyed using this lens on my GH5 as my one go-to camera when I was out and about. Now it's obviously not as compact as the pocket shooters such as my Sony RX100 or the G7X, but having this still pretty compact system with all the features of the GH5 such as external microphones you can add to it and slow-mo and log profiles etc etc, it, it's a pretty impressive and very capable system. If you have the budget and are after just a single lens system for both stills and video for your GH5, then I'd have no problem recommending the Panasonic Leica 12 to 60 lens. I have a motorcycle trip planned with a good friend of mine next month where space will be at a premium, so I'm trying to decide at the moment to, or whether or not I take my wee pocket shooter Sony RX100 or my GH5. If I end up taking my GH5, then that will be the lens that I would take. That's it from me, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.